Hello, so this video is to show you um, once you've gotten a recording with Online Voice Recorder, what do you do with it? How do you get it into a format that you can include it in an e-learning lesson or post it on Google Classroom? So I just did a recording, I had a previous video showing you how to do that, and down here at the bottom um, in my downloads tray is still that recording, that mp3 file. Um, if you've already closed out this tray or you've reloaded your browser or something like that, that may not be there. Um, you may have to go get it from your downloads folder. But either way, it's pretty simple. We're going to go to Google Drive. If it's still in your downloads tray, all you have to do is drag it up into whatever folder um, or your Google Drive you want to place it in. I'm, I've already opened my temp folder. Um, and uh, I have done this before, obviously. I have something with the same name. So I just replaced it, but there's my recording. Um, if you don't have that tray and you can't just drag and drop it in there, you can come here to File or to New and Upload File, and then you'll be able to go to your downloads and find you know that MP3 um, file wherever it is. Click it and click Open. It'll do the same thing. It'll show up right over here, uploaded into your Google Drive and also in your list. Okay, so from there we can right click on it to get to the share options or we can open it. And there's there's our little so I want recording. We don't need to listen to my voice twice. Um, but there's our recording and we're going to come over here to the share options. So three dot menu share. And these share options are just like everything else in Google Drive. Um, for putting in an e-learning lesson, we're going to want to go to Advanced. And you want to make sure it says this. Yours will not by default. The only reason mine does is that my temp folder in Google Drive has this setting, and so everything I place in it also has that setting. But yours will probably say Private at first. So you'll go to Change. And you want anyone with the link to be able to view it. Now, one common mistake I'm seeing is that a lot of people choose Southwest Park, um, which sounds good and would be good, except when you're placing it within an e-learning lesson, it can kind of cause some trouble because it requires them to sign in to their Google account. And um, so they, when they go to open it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to give them a Google sign-in. Um, which trumps up some kids and parents and grandparents and people who are helping kids with e-learning. So if you place it as anyone with the link, can view, that's the setting that is going to work best. So once you have that setting, again I went to advanced to get to the screen, then you can come up here and copy this share link to your clipboard. Once you have that share link, then you can put it wherever you're going to put it. So for the cases of e-learning, we're going to come in here. Let's say that this was just a little greeting introduction um, that I made for my kids. I recommend adding it um, as a button. Um, it's not a video. You can't use the audio option because um, S'more only allowed you to embed audio from SoundCloud and we do not use SoundCloud for some security reasons. Um, so you cannot use this audio option even though that's what makes the most sense. You could embed it as a link and I'll show you what it looks like when you do that. It's just kind of generic. It doesn't really tell kids much about what it is. Of course, you could have um, renamed this with something like, you know, greeting or something, you know. But I generally recommend making it a button. So I would title this button so something like welcome message. You paste your link in here. I always make it open in a new window. That seems to confuse people a little bit less. They can just close it and be back on your lesson. And then you can put something like, Click here to listen. Um, I guess we should do this properly because we're teachers. All right, um, so then you've got a, a button like that, and then when you publish it, and kids click on it, it'll open in a new tab, and they'll be able to play and hear your beautiful voice. Okay, so that seems like a lot of steps, but once you've done it a few times, and um, you can always come back and refer to this video again, take it step by step, you know, listen to a little bit, press pause, go do that step, come back to this recording. Um, you should be able to get those steps down. There's, you know, a lot of it is just that general sharing um, that is true for all of Google. So 
that's how you'll take your online um, voice recorder recording and put it in your e-learning lesson. If you're having any trouble or you have questions, don't hesitate to reach out to me.